<clears throat> hey everyone today we're gonna be talking about i think 40 plus harry potter crochet ideas bow, 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 bow. i always start the videos by saying this but just so you know the ideas are on my phone so if you see me looking at my phone it's because i'm easily distracted we have five different categories today. We got plushies, we got clothes, we got accessories, we got decor, and of course, everyone's favorite, the miscellaneous category. Here's the thing, guys. You don't understand how badly I just wanted to take a picture of every single page in this book and just use this as the video inspiration. If you want some epic, dare I say, epic crochet ideas, get this book. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by whatever this company is. I'm just saying if you want a lot of really good Harry Potter ideas with detailed patterns, just get the book. Bite the bullet and just get it. I'm not here today to try to sell you on a book, so let's get into the free ideas. Let's start off with clothes because I think this might be the smallest category and I'm sorry. You can crochet your own Harry Potter initial sweater. Next, I, I'm gonna be so honest, I don't know if I have a pattern for this one, so you might have to freehand it, but you can crochet Molly Weasley's sweater thingy. The last but not least, you can make this Luna Lovegood hooded cardigan. What a fun time. Let's go ahead and move on to the accessories. First things first, Hermione's bag, and then you could use it as decor or you can use it as an actual bag. <coughs> Did you say bless you? Anywho. I forget what movie it is, but in one of the movies, maybe the third one, I think it's the third one, Hermione wears this little hat and gloves combo. I think they're fingerless gloves in the movie. I could be wrong, but yeah, this is really cute. If you watch my Studio Ghibli video, then you know that I'm a sucker for things that are from a movie, but it doesn't necessarily like scream that movie in your face. Like this doesn't have Harry Potter written all over it, but like if you know harry potter then you might know this hat and glove combo but to an unsuspecting person it's just regular hats and gloves before you flip out at me because this is not particularly harry potter i thought that this would be a cool idea because it's literally a headband and you can just make it your house colors boom harry potter headband we have this nightcap i'm not i don't know i don't know i just want to include it because it's funny a classic harry potter beanie you could do the stripes going like circular around the head like in this picture or you could do stripes going upwards you can do your house colors boom a harry potter scarf bet you weren't expecting it to look like this though well it does this one has all the house colors clearly and it's very cool some fingerless gloves or you could do mittens or actual gloves again whatever your house color is a sorting hat i've just been dying to wear one of these in public but i think this would be a really cute decor piece but like Technically, it's a hat, so it's in the accessories. We have a Hogwarts letter bag. It's just the regular, like, you've been accepted to Hogwarts, come on. That's what the bag is. And then this next one, technically, it's a pair of earrings in this picture, but I feel like you could make a lot of different things with these, like a garland. I would make a garland out of these. Last but not least for the accessories category, we have a classic house scarf. You've probably seen these everywhere if you're a Harry Potter fan. Let's go ahead and move on to plushies. First up, we have a bat that looks like it's in Gryffindor and it has glasses. Again, you could adjust this to any house. You could also just make a regular bat, like a regular brown bat, and then put a scarf on it, a Harry Potter scarf. This is technically for a baby, but it's a Hedwig thingy and then the bottom part is a blanket. We have Luna Lovegood. Honestly, kudos to who i hate that word <laughs> credit to all the people that make these people plushy thingies because this looks really freaking hard we have a chocolate frog come on come on a pygmy puff i don't know what this thing is called but it's that thing from the bus in prisoner of azkaban if you know you know and this is really cool some more people plushy thingies we got harry Potter. we got the golden trio who am I kidding? You can make a little potted mandrake guy and then put it in an actual pot. Are you kidding? I wonder if they have, they probably do, but I wonder if they have a pattern for like an actually like ugly one, like in the movies. Then we have a little Hedwig guy with a scarf. The scarf would be so easy to make if that motivates you to try and make this. 
and then technically this isn't like harry potter if you know what i mean but it's a little niffler moving on to our decor category our decorations we have this little deathly hallows pillow except the like outline for the deathly hallows symbol is little puffy things Following the puffy thing trend, we have a platform nine and three quarters pillow. These tapestries, so cool. I will make one of these in the future. They're just tapestries, but like they're so cool. We have little house coasters. I think this is macrame, but you could crochet them easily, easily, easily. This little basket, it's how we pull off. We have our first blanket. These are all tapestry crocheted square thingies, but I think this is a cool idea. This one would be super easy, but just a little blanket. I think this one is supposed to be a baby blanket, but obviously you can make it bigger. Another one of those things that's like, if you watch the movie, then you know, and if you don't watch the movie, then mm, too bad. Ron Weasley's blanket, so cool. This specific picture is a knitted piece, but again, super easy to switch it to crochet, just a little tapestry crochet. It's cute and fun. It's the Gryffindor banner. Another tapestry crochet the marauders map i really want to do this another blanket just basic granny squares with the house colors put them together boom you got a blanket another blanket just a gray blanket with the golden snitch all over it i'm gonna be so honest we have this blanket and then another blanket that's the end of the category don't worry we don't have another 37 more blankets to get through this one just says mischief managed and then finally i will be 100% making this in the future and I kind of want to make a YouTube video when I do it because I think it'll definitely be a bit of a long process but I gotta take you guys along the burrow blanket from the living room I'm obsessed I am I really am again if you've watched the movies then you know it and if you haven't it's just another cute blanket onto our miscellaneous category let's go cup koozies with the colors of your harry potter house these little card holder thingies i think that's what they are i think these are knitted but tapestry crochet that'll be your best friend a little sorting hat keychain not sure what to do with this but it's luna lovegood's glasses and it, it's really cute do not get me wrong but i don't know in this picture what it's it, like it it could be a keychain a garland these are technically ornaments, but my focus here is on the sweaters. Obviously, there's like the socks and the scarves, and it's all cute, but I really like the sweaters, like the mini sweaters. That would be so cute. Make your own little hanger out of like a thicker wire material thingy, and then you can hang on your wall. You can make it into an ornament. You could do this, but make it for your keys. I know in my first crochet ideas video, I did something like that where it was like a sweater for your keys do that but the harry potter sweaters these mini scarf bookmarks another bookmark but it's the golden snitch and last but not least in this entire video we've made it to the end this mandrake granny square and then obviously you can do anything with it you can make a blanket make a sweater a cardigan even a bag multiple bags who even knows the video has sadly come to an end thank you so much for watching oh subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye